Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks for tuning in. Really excited about today's soap. It's going to be super nerdtastic. Newsflash, I'm a big nerd. I like all things from Harry Potter to Lord of the Rings to Star Wars. Okay, maybe that's not Newsflash if you've been around here for a while. I do like to incorporate a lot of these things into my soaps. Lots of fandom soaps. And today I'm using a new tool that is like super nerd because the hubby bought me a new kitchen, I always hit myself in the face with that, new kitchen vibrator. It is a lightsaber and did I just take it a little too far there? Yes, I know this is called an immersion blender or a hand blender, but I think kitchen vibrator has a nice ring to it. And if you want to know where I got the term, Google the two fat ladies because they're awesome. They have an awesome cooking show or had a really awesome cooking show and they came up with the term and it stuck and I think it's fun and I use it. So, to make things even more nerdy, I am going to be making a Doctor Who soap with this awesome lightsaber kitchen vibrator. So let's get started on a sci-fi soap. Started. I've got my oils here and I've added some kaolin clay and some buttermilk powder to it. Still messing around with different additives. I don't know, I just like to spice things up a little bit, make the soap recipe even nicer than it is. And I'm excited about using this lightsaber here. It has different speeds on it, which is really cool. Mess around with that a little bit. It's so realistic looking, if lightsabers were real, that is. All right, so I'm just gonna mix in this kale and clay and this buttermilk and get all the clumps out, and then I'm going to add my lye water and sodium lactate solution. All right, forgot a spatula, might need that. So it doesn't make lightsaber noises, a little disappointed in that. <laughs> that also might get really annoying if that were the case. It seems like it's cheaply made, not gonna lie. It's more of a novelty item, I think, than it is practical. But I think it's really cool and I'm going to keep using it until I can't use it anymore. How about that? Um, really expensive, I think it was like $30. I'll also leave the link down below for you guys if you're interested. I don't know how long that's going to hold up for. All right, splitting this into two ba two buckets. This is a buttercup yellow from Brambleberry. And then in this main container here, I'm going to put some sky blue mica. And this, I don't know, I've had this left over. It says Workshop Heritage. It's probably one of the first micas I've ever bought when I started. And I thought it looked like a cool TARDIS color. Um, buttermilk, buttermilk, buttercup is going to turn orange. Um, it's done it to me in the past. It does go back to the yellow in the end. So I'm going to whip that up. I'm going to put the picture, the inspiration for these colors and this, this theme that's going on here. I think it's a Van Gogh type painting with um, a TARDIS on it. There's a couple different different ones, but that is where that's the vibe I'm going for, the colors and theme. All right, so this button seems like it's a it kind of sticks. Not a huge fan of that, and I don't know. I'm gonna keep using it though. All right, that looks good. Now, how do I get this off of here? Hmm. There we go. It's kind of hard to grip. Let's be done with that. And I'm going to scrape down the sides because a lot of the blue is just stuck on the side there. All right. So the fragrance I picked for this is called Kentish Rain. It is from Crafter's Choice. And it's I guess masculine in a sense. It smells a little a little cologne like, but it's also very fresh, like 
oceany fresh. Here, I'll read the description for you. It has no vanillin in it, which I'm really excited about. It says rain soaked petals, wild ivy, and meadow grass sit beneath a layer of fresh rain filled air. And even the picture of the fragrance is like London, like a London tower and rain. So I'm going for the Doctor Who vibe, remember? Thought that went well. And I'm just going to split that up into this big bucket and then the little guy here as well and mix that in it's so weird looking at that orange color because it looks like cheese and it's not yellow at all <laughs> it's very deceiving well hello ricing look at that hmm really now yeah it's rising so how do we solve that let's get that lightsaber back out here we're gonna battle some ricing sith rice over here <laughs> i'm gonna mix this in real quick too holy moly i don't ever test my fragrances i am just impatient like that don't trust me to test a fragrance. Learn the hard way, I say. So now that I had to take care of that, my batter is really sick because it is just overworked. It has been mixed to it. It doesn't want to be mixed anymore. It's better than like seizing. It's not doing that, but it's really thick now, as you can see. So let's start pouring. I don't know if the design I had in mind is even going to work now, but it's cool. So I'm going to pour this yellow, I want to say orange, it is not orange, into this batter and do an in the pot swirl. that out get out of there wow I can't believe that rice so much I guess I should have read the review of it the scent and the picture and the name really sold me that I didn't think anything else was going to do so I didn't even care about how it behaved shame on me all right get to pouring and yeah again new new mold new kitchen vibrator I'm not liking the liners on these nurture soap molds they're really thick I'm gonna give this a little swirl in the pot in the pot swirl and get to pouring I'm gonna have to take this out and smack it on the ground to get everything leveled. Oh, I just love surprises and messes. With a mess, usually comes a surprise, and surprise with a mess. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> now I am rushing. I am just rushing to get this all in here. Rushing, not rushing. All right, so let me get this all in here and give it a good whack. I'll bring you guys back for the icing. Hopefully that goes a little better. Okay, do you have any idea how much fun that wasn't? <laughs> Never use that fragrance again, I say. 
Alright, so I am just, I don't even like this tip. I don't, I can't find any of the tips that I want. So I've searched the house, high and low, can't find my other tips. So this is what I'm using. This, this is going quite well. It's splendid. It's going quite splendid, I must say. But it is what it is. <laughs> just going with it. I'll have to call this soap Exploding Tardis because that's pretty much what's going on here. Working with some new soap icing techniques and some new recipes for the base and the top and I am just, I am trying to do so much so it is my own fault. All right. Get some more icing in here. I want to tell you guys about another fun thing that I bought or have received. I was a sucker for this Groupon that popped up on my Facebook. You know, one of those things that you're like, yeah, that's dumb. How did it know? But I'm not going to buy that. And I fell for it. And it is a Groupon for... A castle in Scotland, the Castle Dunan and Grounds in Scotland is running a special that if you donate money, you get a square foot of land and the money goes, goes towards restoring the grounds and the castle. And I am a sucker for anything English, British, Scottish, Irish, you name it. And I bought it. <laughs> And I'm like, I kind of feel silly that I just did that, but I did, and it's for a good cause. It is kind of just a novelty thing because it doesn't make me Scottish or or any anything that has to do with I am American, but now I'm Scottish and I can go there whenever I want. It doesn't work that way. As much as that would be pretty cool if it did. Um, it is basically giving me the title of Lady of Cow Kale Glen. I'm probably butchering that. I can now use the tartan if I so desire. It gives me the rights to that. Um, I can go visit it anytime I want. And they gave me a little plot of land. And I thought that was just the cutest thing. It really is. It's one more reason now to go to Scotland, and I think the castle's from like the 1700s after the Jacobite Revolution. I am really into um, Diana Gabaldon's Outlander series, so I am just a little fangirl when it comes to Scotland. Couldn't help myself. Okay. To up my icing recipe here to hopefully cover the whole soap. We'll say. No expert on this. There are so many other YouTubers out there that are great that make soap. I just gotta say. Thank you to all of them. Hello to all of them. They are all great inspirations. We all inspire each other. All right. I think I did this backwards. Mm. So I'm going to top this off. I think I'm going to up my icing again next time too. Just, just a little bit more so I can get another layer out of that. All right, I've got these little soap balls here that I'm going to put on each one. And not the greatest at this either. Lining these things up is not my favorite. You guys probably already knew that. <laughs> They're so slippery. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from over here. I'm gonna ignore that side. That never happened. All right. 
husband should be here doing this. He seems to think it's really easy. I should have him do it one time. It's not as easy as it looks. Or maybe it's just me. Alright. So anyway, back to this whole castle business. They did send me a little certificate in the mail with a little letter and a map and an idea of where the plot of land or my square foot would be to show you that. And one day I'm going to visit. Like that is going to be a thing. I will visit. I'm gonna have to go back over this and line these up again. mind my non-gloved hands and, and you know sew by saying just don't do what I do kids wear gloves I'll get yelled at for it there are people out there who are like where are your gloves and typically I'm all about it but it is really hard to line these guys up it's slippery all right where did I put that paper I'm losing everything today hello Luke so this is the little pamphlet they sent me, and it's super pretty. And then this is like the map of the area, and like that little X right there, that's my square foot. And there, there's this fancy little letter here, hello, and I don't know, it, it's really cute. I thought it was really cute. I've got some snowflake sparkle glitter from Brambleberry that I'm just sprinkling on here. I'll let this sit for about 24 or 48 hours, probably 24. It's a lot easier to get out of the mold now that the sides come off. And we'll see if the inside is at all what I imagined it to be. All right, back to cut this. And I had a little trouble getting it out of the mold. Um, that, that liner is really thick. So I think that's a little bit of my problem. Um, I could have let it sit a little bit longer, but again, you know, I don't have the patience. So I'm just gonna cut up a few of these and take a look at the inside. Does that not look like an exploding TARDIS design to you? It's all wibbly wobbly and tiny wimey. <laughs> I did mention that I was a dork probably a couple times. Uh, so that you can see that color did turn back to the yellow yay I'm digging it you're probably thinking okay Tierra that's cute and all but nothing about this soap is screaming Doctor Who right well you know how much I love to put in beds on the front of soap so let me show you what I got. Save the best for last. You got some TARDIS. Tardi? Tardises? Tardises. It's Tardises. <laughs> Such a weird word. But I'm going to put those in the front of the soap. So let's cut a few more of these. And then I'll put those on the front. I'm cutting it close on this guy. Yep. Right through that in bed. It's okay. So I looked up some of the reviews after I used this fragrance. And a lot of people weren't having trouble with it. It was mixed. There were some people going that it accelerates and you gotta work quick. But the majority were people saying that they didn't have a problem with this. It didn't accelerate. There was no rising. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if it was my recipe or the additives that I put in it or my luck. Who knows? But in the end, it's still okay. Alright. So I'm going to keep cutting these. That smells really good though. It's kind of an ocean 
type scent, I think. So I'll keep cutting these and I will bring you back when I put the tortoise in the front of them. So I've got a few of them lined up here and these are the little TARDIS guys that are also made out of uh, soap, they're melt and pour. And then I've melted a little bit of melt and pour to paint on the back of it. And I'm just going to smush it down right there on that soap right there. And I'm going to keep going with those. I couldn't decide if I wanted to put them on the middle or if I wanted to put them on the side or if I was going to stick them in the top of the soap. In the end, I like this way. And I'm going to put that picture up there again so that you guys can see where the inspiration came from. But I'm really liking it and I will be making these again only uh, with a different fragrance. <laughs> Do a little more research. I am really bad at that. I just see something that I'm like, oh, that sounds like it is going to be perfect. And then I use it and I learn the hard way. Sounds about right. These are really heavy bars of soap too. So let's do a couple more of those. And this video that you guys are seeing is probably the Monday before we leave for our little road trip. So we are going to Maine and we are going to Salem and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be uploading the two videos a week or if we're just going to do one or you guys are just going to have to live with none. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's get an up close look at that. And I like it. It looks like it's floating in that like space sky I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the, dis the comment section down below. I don't know why I can't say that. And I will list all of the materials I use if you are interested in this little TARDIS guy right here. So I will smell you later.